Dr. Victor Frankenstein. Victor Frankenstein. Victor Wootenstein. Vicky. Big Vic. Frankie. Frank. He's this part philosopher, part chemist, go-getter. Unbound by conventional ambition, he dreams of discovering the essence of life by sewing together cadaver parts and shooting them up with electric youth. It works. He brings to life this eight-foot-tall wild thing, the creature, not too sightly. He goes unnamed, and Frank is distraught. He's like, this is not my beautiful science project. The creature is utterly dejected. See, he's a gentle giant, at least at first, articulate, intelligent, because literally everyone shuns him. He begins acting out, killing Frank's little brother. Poor Frank heads up to the snowy Alps to confront his creation. The creature says, Frank, we gotta talk. Turn and face the strange. You made me like this, and I'm a pariah. Frank's like, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. And the creature says, I want you to make me a lady creature. I promise we'll go away, maybe Argentina. And you'll never cry for us again. Frank says, deal, even though he's burning one down inside his mind. So while the creature is watching, Frank destroys his lady creature. By now, the creature is like, I'm totally going to be there on your wedding night. Sick and tired, Frank stumbles upon his buddy's murdered corpse, and he's like, oh, Henry, not again. Bad timing, since Frank is about to marry his favorite cousin, Elizabeth. And true to his word, that night, the creature outsmarts Frank and snuffs out his new bride's life force. Now it's Frank's turn to scream, but the creature is already on a dog sled, and Frank follows in trivial pursuit. Frank gets sick again and ends up on Captain Walton's ship and tells him his whole bloody life story. The captain says he went that away and offers to help, but Frank's like, time may change me, but I can't trace time, and dies. The captain stores Frank's body in a cold hold, and a few days later, finds the creature sobbing over the body. Having killed his maker, he's like, I cheated myself, just like I knew I would. I can't live if living is without you, and jumps out the window. As the creature floats away to a cold, lonely death on a flow of ice, the captain watches him get swallowed into the darkness and into the void.